This video tutorial demonstrates how to calibrate the latest depth check system for Bobcat compact excavators. The depth check system requires calibration primarily when installing a new system, replacing a sensor, or temporarily removing and reinstalling sensors. Attachments, such as buckets, also require calibration upon initial setup. They should be recalibrated as desired to compensate for bucket tooth or cutting edge wear. Calibration is located in the depth check system settings. Select Setup and Calibration. Your owner code is required to access the depth check system calibration. There are seven steps to the calibration process. To streamline calibration, it's ideal to have two people. Let's get started. The first step is to use the depth check software to ensure the sensors are identified and assigned to their mounting location. To identify the sensors, follow the instructions on your display to independently operate each function listed, starting with curling and dumping the bucket. Then, move on to extending and retracting the arm, raising and lowering the boom. The sensor located on the upper structure is automatically assigned as you calibrate the other functions. Next, calibrate the upper structure. Park the machine on level ground and press Calibrate on the display. If necessary, utilize the blade to level the machine front to back. After the upper structure is calibrated, move on to the boom. First, ensure the boom and arm pivot pin and the boom pivot pin are level. Bobcat recommends using a self-leveling laser so that the level laser beam passes through the center of both the bottom pivot pin and the boom and arm pivot pin. Other tools, like a string level, can also be used. Once the level laser beam passes through the center of both, we can move on to calibrating the arm. To calibrate the arm, you'll need to first vertically level the arm, ensuring the boom arm pivot pin and the arm bucket pivot pin are vertically level. You can do this using a self-leveling laser or a plumb bob level. Bobcat recommends using a self-leveling laser so that the vertically level laser beam passes through the center of both the boom arm pivot pin and the arm bucket pivot pin. Using a plumb bob level to line up both the pins is also equally as effective. Now we're ready to calibrate the bucket linkage or guide link. Level the two pins. You can level the bucket linkage with a self-leveling laser or by using a short level and the magnetic extension tools provided with the depth check system. Bobcat recommends using a self-leveling laser so that the level laser beam passes through the center of the two guide link pins. If you're using an attachment coupler such as the Bobcat X-Change coupler or a pin grabber, simply use the display to select the coupler installed on the machine. If you're using a custom coupler or other attachment coupler that's not provided by Bobcat, follow the on-screen instructions. To calibrate the attachment coupler, select which coupler is installed on your machine. Lastly, calibrate the attachment with the depth check system. Select attachments on the display, then add attachment. To recalibrate an existing attachment for bucket wear, select one of the existing attachments. If you are calibrating an attachment for the first time, enter an attachment name, then proceed to measure the attachment's inner length and outer length. To measure the attachment's inner length, measure the distance from the tip of the attachment's cutting edge or bucket teeth to the center of the attachment coupler's inner pin. Enter this value in the display. Next, measure the attachment's outer length by measuring the distance from the tip of the attachment's cutting edge or bucket teeth to the center of the attachment coupler's outer pin. Enter this value in the display. It's critical to measure the coupler pins, not the attachment's pins. With a pin grabber, you should account for the height of the pin grabber. If calibrating a toothed bucket, measure directly below the attachment coupler pins, not to a tooth, such as the outside tooth, as this may decrease accuracy. If measurements during calibration were off by as little as 1 16th of an inch, it can impact the final system accuracy. After calibration is complete, Bobcat recommends verifying attachment calibration as mounting tolerances or wear between teeth could affect accuracy. To do this, set the target depth to 0.0, .0 inches and slope to 0.0% after a complete system calibration. Perform a benchmark on an immovable object such as a slab of concrete with the bucket flat. Curl the bucket out so the teeth are now vertical. Place the teeth directly on the same spot as your previous benchmark. If the depth check system shows your attachment is slightly too deep, go into the display settings and reduce the outer attachment length in minor increments, such as a tenth of an inch. If the depth check system shows your attachment is slightly shallow, increase the outer attachment length in minor increments, such as a tenth of an inch. 
You may keep the bucket in place with the teeth vertical on the benchmark as the inner and outer attachment lengths are incrementally adjusted as the changes will immediately go into effect and be reflected on the display. If measurements were off, this may take several attempts. Incrementally adjusting the attachment's outer lengths may help dial in the accuracy of the depth check system. If the full system is properly calibrated, accuracy at the point of benchmark should be approximately half inch or less. Depth check versatility extends beyond buckets, as it may also be paired with other attachments such as an auger, trencher, or plate compactor. Thank you for watching the Bobcat Depth Check System Calibration Tutorial. The accuracy of your depth check system is dependent upon the accuracy of system calibration. If you're experiencing inaccuracies, please refer to your depth check system user guide troubleshooting sections, conduct a new calibration procedure, or discuss with your local Bobcat dealer. For additional information on Bobcat excavators, the depth check system, and more, visit bobcat.com or talk to your local dealer.